genius supplies. What's up, Spikes? We are back in the studio today, and we're playing some Outlaw of Thunder Junction Commander decks. But it's not what you would expect to see. These are commanders, but the decks have been brewed by Aaron, which is very exciting. And we have a special guest today. Hello. Say hello. Oh, wanna... Shiva, right. It's not uh, you, I'm sorry. Oh, not Jim. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're, all, you're special in my heart. <laughs> Good, Aww. thank you. I would like to thank our sponsors, uh, GameGenic. They sponsor the whole channel. Uh, they give us cool play mats and deck boxes and very cool gaming accessories. We love to uh, we love to use them. The products are amazing. Uh, if you can't get them at your LGS, you should ask for them. Take a look. Uh, I'm Madison. I'm going first today. I'm going to be playing Vihan Gold Waker. Uh, this deck is is it outlaw themed? Kind of. Well, treasures become outlaws. Yeah, treasures will become outlaws. So we'll be making a lot of treasures and killing people with combat damage. Very uh, dapper gentleman, that guy. Yes, Very much. Yes. Uh, hey, Aaron, I'm playing Calamity Galloping Inferno, uh, which is a horse mount. It's 4 6 that uh, saddles things into it and then makes token attacking copies of them. Um, it makes two of them for some reason, even though there's only one rider depicted in the art. But I want to make a lot of uh, big red creatures that will uh, kill my opponents very fast. You know? Um, yeah. Just want to do it really quick. I mean, I hope you don't. I'm going to. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jim. I am playing the Gitrog Ravenous Ride. Uh, when I first saw this card, I was like, this has 30% too many words on it. Uh, so when Aaron asked what deck I wanted to play, I was like, I want to play Gitrog. Uh, the whole idea behind this deck is cracking in for big, 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 big damage. Uh, and then drawing a whole bunch of cards and putting a whole bunch of lands into play. Um, Man, I should have picked that deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, really. it probably would have been fine without any one of those things. It probably would have been still been really, all of those really, really good, but it does all of the above. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Shivam, and uh, I decided to yeehaw my uh, cowboys with good old Felix Five Boots, King of the Combat Triggers, doubles them all, here to play a bunch of things that come into play or like weenies that are unblockable that come in and get your triggers in the first place and then duplicate them for fun and profit. Uh, there's probably a lot of ninjutsu in this deck, I'm guessing. There's probably a lot of just, I don't know, saboteur effects and just weird things that come in. And uh, Mr. Five Boots is gonna be gunslinging in the back going like pew, 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 <laughs> draw a billion cards and let's go. What do you think the mix is between right and left boots? We talked about this in a preview. Oh yeah? Episode. yeah? Yeah. Well, um, I would think that there would be like, Two left boots and three right boots, because if you go to a store with the shoes, there's always like the left boots that are in the thingy. And so he's been the one yanking the other boots to take them. I was thinking it there's would be like two right, in that. two right, two left, and one that's just straight. Just one, one straight. <laughs> well, just one unisex boot the way that they do in like China or India, where it's just like shaped for a foot. Yeah. And uh -huh. you're just going to be cramped no matter which yeah. way it goes. It's like, like okay. I'm four rights and a left here. <laughs> <laughs> four rights and a left is aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, we can start off by get cracking into a game genetic bash. Cracking. All right, you guys are good? Yep. All right, draw for my turn. I'm going to play a Vault of Champions, and I'm going to tap that to cast a Soul Ring. Would you like to concede? Soul Ring. Sorry, you can't beat that. Okay. You went first, and you had a Soul Ring? I will tap my Soul Ring for a Talisman of Indol. Oh, get wrecked. Goodness. Yeah. I love casual magic. Pass the turn. For the record, my deck has does can have a pregame action. I play Chancellor of the Forge. Uh, sorry, I'll play I a mountain. You. Yeah, get out of Soul Ring. <laughs> I'll play my Commander's Plate. Incidentally, I respect that mountain. Mm, that is the one nice. true. I got lots of this exact mountain. I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> Draw card. I'm going to play the Black Gate. Uh, tapped. Oh, I do like the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Oh, I want to pass. Look at Fancy Pants over here. Mm -hmm. Draw my card. Okay, we're going to start with the Rejuvenating Spring, which because I have two or more uh, opponents, I get to have untapped. I'm going to tap this for a Soul Ring. Excuse me. I'm going to tap this for a Talisman. Whoa, what if Excuse I want to concede me? here? <laughs> now you may concede. Thank you. Sorry, we playing CDH was last game. Yeah. <laughs> you built these decks. Maybe, All maybe, I'm saying maybe. is look. I'm cutting Soul Rings from my deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what she did and I wanted that. Yeah. Frick. We should, God, we should have an alliance. This people. side should have an alliance. <laughs> yes. We got the board. Yep. The Soulisman crew. Yes. Yep. Does it. Well, behind your gym. Yeah, I'm sitting pretty. This is exactly where I want to be at this point in the game. <laughs> and I tapped it black is. A wizard arrives Play exactly plants. when he intends yeah. to. <laughs> and That's what you tell her, isn't it? Tap three mana. I'm going to take one off of this to cast Ingenious uh, Artillerist. Yep. Whenever one or more artifacts enters the battlefield under my control, it uh, deals that much damage. Okay, so that's to... a kill on sight is what that is. There's a couple deck. of those. I do like the card. Tap two. 
Talisman of Conviction. Trigger Ooh. this thing. Aaron at 39. 39. We're all at 39. We're all at 39. Yeah. And we're all going to go down real quick uh, with this pass. side of the table. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Lay the same mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, cast a much worse fire diamond to pass. Look at that talisman. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pay a for play a forest, tap two, and cast a nature's lore. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get this underground mortuary into play. Mortuary. Tap mortuary, and I will surveil one. Mortuary much. I think I'm going to leave that on top. Oh, and I will interesting. Pass. All right, untaps, upkeeps, and a draw. We're going to put out a breeding pool for two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap this uh, soul ring and tap a land, tap the talisman for colorless, put out a toss keep. And then I'm going to tap a blue off of the breeding pool to put combat research on toss keep. That makes this into a... Uh, well, let's see. So first off, this is an indestructible taxi turn of able and then draws a card whenever a creature I control deals combat damage. That also has plus one, plus one, so it's now a two, two with ward one. And whenever this creature deals damage, it draws a card. So I draw two cards a lot of that. off of my two, two, ward one, indestructible squirrel. Okay. I and see. Uh, what's your life total at? After I you have 37. 37. 37? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. You're good. Turn. All right. Draw a card. I'm gonna cast Smothering Tithe. Uh, yeah. Why'd I put that card in the deck? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited. You know what's good in a treasure so deck? Yeah. Making treasures every It originally turn. wasn't yes. the deck, but I was like, I can't not play Oh, uh, no, deck. see, yes. I run a Mardu Treasures deck and uh, with Jan Jansen as my uh, Yeah, commander, I love Jan Jansen. And I have to have Smothering Tithe. Everybody's yeah. like, you should take it out of your deck. I'm like, this is a treasure deck. It's too good. Literally, this card was made for this deck. I normally don't play the card in a lot of casual decks, but it's treasure. It's a treasure right? deck. Yeah. All right, Mrs. Uh, All right. Smothering Tithe. Uh, take one. Go to 38 to cast Reckless Fireweaver. Oh, no. Okay, well, now we're screwed. Well, I'm not oh. jacked about my looting that suddenly became deal too damage to myself. So we're all paying for a smothering tithe, right? Oh, I you. mean, you don't oh. have to. Yeah, we do. Because oh, each one is uh, going to nug us for a billion. Aaron, three. Um, it's three, right? Yeah, that's so you go to 36. 36. Yep. All right, pass the turn. All right. Pay two. Are you sure? You yeah, don't have to. I, I am not excited about it. Trust me. Uh, I will play a Thought Vessel, and I'll pass. Okay. I'll untap. Would you Draw like card. to pay for this? I am going to pay for Smothering Tide. <laughs> the then, worst part is Toski has to attack. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to play this Swamp as my land for turn. Oh, God. Ooh. And I will cast a Secure Tribe Elder. <laughs> oh, I'm going to just... We're going to take a ton of damage right now. Yep. I got kind pass. of excited when you played that. I'm like, oh, you're going to draw cards. <laughs> oh, God. How do I do this? <laughs> Because I want to put out Felix five boots, but then I'm going to just die boots. Yeah, that's four. Because I'll double that trigger and that trigger, and then we're just drawing a crap ton of cards. I and didn't then think we you were a coward. Die. Felix five boots is no coward. You've been yeah, playing but that's CDH. You've been playing boots. CDH all weekend. Yeah, but now I'm back in my comfort. You're though, not okay with paying life for cards? Pay yeah. life for cards, baby. People pay three black for the privilege to do that. <laughs> Look, you guys play Carnage Citadel. I can't deal with that. Um, Fiddles, how do we do this? Okay, so I'm in my draw step trigger. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I will pay. Okay. And then I'll play an island, play a Miss Cloak Herald. Yeah. And then I'm going to pay one, one, and tap to play Cold Eye Selkie. Which Shame is on. I, I do <laughs> love it. a whole lot of Cold Eye Selkie. He had an existential crisis in his upkeep and then totally forgot after drawing like, a card for It's turn. okay. He, he gave into it. How much I need <laughs> well, here's the Chaos thing. Warp. Only happens if I attack and I'll do combat damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I'm just I'm just building a board out with the intention of that will not be there at some point. Yeah. I am praying. I, I hope so, too. But I have to attack with Toski. You can attack in the Elder. That's um, no smothering But he's like, but I could draw some cards. But I, I could draw some cards. <laughs> I could draw some cards. <laughs> some cards. <laughs> we had a lot of life. Why shouldn't you I? You do have a lot of cards. life. After all, why shouldn't I? You can do it a couple times. <laughs> Jim, I'm going to swing at you. Oh, with very Tosky. responsible. Block sack. All right. Very responsible. <laughs> and off the Sakura Triad Elder, I'm going to get this forest into play. You got it. All right. And with that, I think I'm going to call it a turn. All right. Untap. No pay for smothering death. I would love to not pay for <laughs> my own smothering death. All right, I'm going to cast Mari the Killing Quill. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, exile it with a hit counter on it. Okay. Assassins, mercenaries, and rogues I control have death touch, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, I can remove a hit counter from a card that player owns in exile. And if I do, I draw a card and make two treasures. Jeez. The treasures are assassins. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And Jim, three. 36. 
36. 36. Another upkeep, eh? Another cursed draw phase that I will pay two for because right. I pay. I will pay. You pay your debts. You pay the taxes. <laughs> I will cast Aspiring Champion from Warhammer 40,000. What does that it's do? It's a 3-3 Menace. Um, ruinous Ascension. Whenever Aspiring Champion deals combat damage to a player, I may sacrifice it. If I do, reveal cards on top of my library, deal a real creature card, put that creature on the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Um, if that creature is a demon, it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. Cool. Yes. Cool. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. Yeah. Uh, how much are we taking off of Artifact CTV? Two. Two? Okay. Two. You know what? I'm not going to pay. Oh, I'm going to make a treasure. Ah, so we'll each take so two. We'll trigger these. Yeah, we'll I was responsible two. for nothing. Okay. Uh, I'm doing that because I don't have a land drop this turn, but I do want to cast my commander, the Gitrog, Ravenous Ride. That's a 6-5 Trample Haste. It's got Saddle 1. And uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, I can sacrifice a creature that's saddled to this turn. If I do, I draw X cards, then put up to X lands from my hand onto the battlefield <laughs> tapped, where X is the sacrificed creature's power. That was all one ability. Crazy. All one ability. It's also yeah. a five mana, six, five trample haste. Yeah, even if that without uh -huh. this block of text, the top Madison line is just like- has only a uh, one, three four that toughness, or four huh. power, sorry, four power. Yeah, it's not. What an unfortunate position no. to be in. And that's, Madison? No! <laughs> and that's a creature that she's far more inclined to keep. Yeah. I'm for sure going to keep these creatures, so uh -huh. I'm going to take six. six. Uh, and then that's going to be it for me. Untaps. Uh, draw my card. Take a second to think about my life. One, two, three, four. No card for you. No though. treasure. Aww. No treasure. Unlucky. Smart. That's prudent. I will play an underground stadium. Thank you for drawing it so that I can play Felix Five Boots. Um, untapped because I have two and one. I'm going to, let's see here, black, green, uh, blue colors. Mm -hmm. Felix Five Boots has entered the stadium. Um, homie here has Menace and Ward 2. He's a 5-4 that says, if creature you control deals combat damage to a player, causes a triggered ability of a permanent, you control to trigger that ability panharmonicons. And mm -hmm. so we are going to get double triggers, and I'm going to... Oh my god, we're just, I could, if I attack right now, I would draw so many cards, yep. and we would take so much Listen, damage. Listen, you do what you have to do. This is a dilemma of your own construction. But it's Civic, I have to draw. <laughs> well, you can, you can only attack with one of them, you know. <laughs> yeah, so it draws you four okay. cards. Here's the thing. <laughs> the Heart of the Sylvan Library mm -hmm. says we take eight. Mm -hmm. We are not cowards. So we are going to swing. Uh, not with that guy, because he doesn't have haze. Yeah. We're going to swing with um, these two, and nobody else has islands, nope. but I don't want to. Jim doesn't have a block. Yeah, I'm open. Uh, I'm not interested in attacking with the, uh, yeah, yeah. What am I yeah. talking about? It's two cards. All towards me? No. These two are going to go towards Maddie. Okay. And then this one's going to go towards you, Jim. Okay. Uh, okay. So this can be blocked. It could be. Mm -hmm. This cannot be blocked. Yes. Yeah. And this also can be can't blocked. be blocked. Yeah. So, I will not be blocking. So uh, that's one point, and that one and two, so three points to you. Yeah. So I'll and go then, to 33. Madison will go to 28. 28. And then we got a whole schwack of triggers. Yes. <laughs> lots of things are about to happen. So let's see here. First off, uh, Toski says, when, um, as long as it intent, let's see, when this creature deals combat damage, I draw a card. Felix says, I do that twice. So I'm going to draw two cards off of that. And I will have smothering type triggers. Yes. For your so two there's cards. two. And then Toski says, whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Six so cards. Six more. So you have eight, so total, eight. Three, four, eight total smothering types so far. Five, six. And then you have Cold uh, Eye Selkie. Yeah. And Cold Eye Selkie. And the Cold Eye Telki says it it deals damage. Um, I may draw that many cards. So that's two cards. Yeah. So that's up to 10. 10. And I'm going to presume that you're not paying for any of them. I don't have anything to pay Ooh. with. Just taking 20 here? What yeah, we're just taking Five. a we'll casual make 10 more. Oh my god, did I just kill us? So yeah. Shivam's at Maybe. 15, I'm at 13, and Aaron is at 14. So, uh, that was... I take no blame in any of this. <laughs> I, I think we might just be dead. Are you guys just turn. dead? We're just dead. Did I just end the game? I have no effects. I think so. Whoops. Well, let's see how it goes. You know what? Live by the card, die by the yeah, card. Do it. Over, yeah. <laughs> you have, uh, I guess, a discard, but other than that, nothing. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a discard. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my 11 cards and discard down an offer you can't refuse. Lutoril Core, 
Shipwreck Marsh and Osaki T. Untap. <laughs> Look, I don't play decks that draw cards Dark very card. often. You gotta understand, That's th fair. this is new to me. It's a lot of cards. <laughs> All right, well, what are we doing if we're not going for it? Am I right? Look at that I'll Radiant Man, one. I can't say no. What, a 27? It's Madison's a 27. Yeah. Yes, so my other outlaws now have Vigilance and Haste. At the beginning of combat on my turn, I can have treasures I control become 3-3 three, three Construct Assassin Artifact Creatures in addition to their other types. You could just sack all of them. I you could. could. I could cast the cards in my hand. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. seems strong. That it seems really good. Things. That seems like something a smart magic player yes. would do. Smart I'm going to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so six of these will attack Shivam. So I can hit you with this. <laughs> yeah. That's true, you would block that. Can hit Jim for four. So I'm good. Because this does not have haste. I'm sorry, this is enough to kill me, correct? It is enough to kill you. 15, yeah. 15. Oh, I'm gonna block the ingenious uh, artillerist regardless. Yeah. Okay, Jim eats it and I will block one. Yeah. One, all right, okay. and so you guys are dead. So and Aaron are both dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm I will lose four. one of these. <laughs> I will lose this. I'll go to nine. <laughs> I am dead. You know what? Felix Five Boots was worth it. <laughs> Why shouldn't I drop the cards? Why shouldn't I drop the He died card. doing what he loved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I take one and cast Morbid Opportunist. Now he's Morbid. Morbid. 26. 26? Yes. yes. I'll pass. Mm. Okay. I'm going to untap, draw a card. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to pay for Smothering Tithe. Oh. All right, I only go. I don't. I don't think it super makes a difference right now, and I only take one. I have more treasures, so yeah. that's a deal. Okay, and uh, then I have a trigger. Oh, they have vigilance. Yeah, yeah, they do. Have oh, vigilance. they have vigilance. Yes. Oh god. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Okay, but uh, you'll take one. Uh, then, okay, then I'm gonna uh, pay four. Yeah. And cast a demagogue titan. Mm -hmm. This is a four mana eleven ten. Uh, and when it attacks or blocks, I sacrifice a creature. Uh, nice. I would like to uh, saddle the good rock. <laughs> <laughs> and swing it in for six. All right. Take six. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. I'm at 12 commander damage. Madison takes six going to 20. I'm going to sacrifice the Demogoth Titan off of the sure. Gitrog's trigger, trigger to draw 11 cards. I will draw a card. <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing 11 cards. All right. Oh, no. All right. Times, so. <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. I, that was a lot faster than I was expecting it would be. Me uh -huh. too. And and it was self inflicted. Yes. The Titan warped the game up pretty heavily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's another time that because like I feel like if the reckless fire weaver effects would have been fine. Mm -hmm. They would have been super mid yeah. until but one, both of one decks, or the other. Yeah, both of our decks can't really do much. But yeah, that's the thing. Like cards, so my choices were literally do nothing yeah. or eat a ton of damage. Yeah, right. And if I had remembered the text on that, maybe I wouldn't have attacked with everything. But also at the same time, this was a lock unless I found a disenchant. Yeah, I feel right. like there was maybe a world where. Um, like you said, if you didn't attack with everything, that uh, just putting pressure on our life totals while attacking Madison with, with like just one stuff, at a time, yeah. Um, there's like maybe a world where that works out favorably, but even then, what? like all it takes is to play like the big score or Brass's mm -hmm. bounty or something mm -hmm. like that, and we're all dead anyway. Right? I mean, <laughs> like real talk, the real the real tech would have been to just leave Felix in the command zone. Yeah, and not maybe. do anything, and then just kind of slowly yeah, inch away. But mm -hmm. where's the fun in that? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, like, like uh, I was like a turn or two away fun. from calamitying <laughs> a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, because I could. Uh, I had to play a little slower because I couldn't afford to loot as much. But um, the next turn I could have calamity crewed it with the creature, make tokens of it, which attacks with oh. two three threes and the six five. Oh, sorry, yeah. four six. And then the three threes turn into larger creatures in the deck. Oh, this deck had a Trigon Predator. That would it have does have me. ways to deal with <laughs> that would have enchantments. Me, um, I was looking for that one. What is that black spell that lets you target player sacks the enchantment? Oh, this feed the swarm. Yeah, those assassin's trophy. Yeah, the Edict. Yeah, those yeah sure. I mean, there, I'm sure there would have been ways. Yeah. but you know what? I have to draw into them. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but instead Felix went out boots blazing. Yeah. <laughs> he did went out doing what he loves. Yeah, the boots. Just I'm imagining <laughs> Felix running out there, juices spouring, uh, like spewing from all the holes in his body. And he's like, at least dude, I had my boots. <laughs> my five boots. <laughs> his boots are full of Kool-Aid, it just kind of pouring. Boots out. Is out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh god. I mean, if you want some fancy boots, we can't hook you up with that. But if you want deck boxes to keep your cards safe, we can hook you up with that. Game genetic stuff. Can I keep go my to boots your, safe? Go to your LGS. I don't know. They might have boot boxes. We'll talk to them about that. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get back to you. Um, yeah, so huge thanks to our sponsor, Game Genic, and huge thanks to all of our patrons. You're going to see their names scrolling below us right now. You can join their ranks for $1 a month. 
and get previews of cool games like this uh, a day before they happen. Uh, as well as like the day before cool... they happen, yeah, a day before they, they, they happen. happened yesterday. Yeah, watching we're it from yeah. Back to the Future, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. You can watch games ahead of time. You can get uh, cool like early access to our shop stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that we're working on that I haven't really talked about yet. We're so on. maybe I spoiled it. But, uh, yeah, we'll just catch you next time. <laughs>